here's the video or another video where Mike is demonstrating um, how to control the uh, centrifugal forces, the centrifugal force of a of the head of the golf club. And here he's swinging a, a bucket, a big bucket of golf balls on a rope to show uh, Julia how to what he's talking about and the forces and the leg action and what the body needs to do to control the swinging of the weight on the end of the of the rope which is the same as the uh, head of the golf club on the end of the shaft i start swinging it around my head like this okay when that basket comes out in front of me right there what does my body do so I don't fall down. It pushes away. It pushes away. If I was there you go. Sudden fired my hips into it. Right. Let's talk about see that let's review that. Eric, what does my body do so I don't fall down? It pushes away. It pushes away. If I all of a sudden fired my hips into it, it it would pull me off balance. So what you're really doing with the golf swing? This basket's coming down. It's nothing more than a golf club, a car going around the corner. So you get right here, you have to push away from it. Okay, well, when I put this, when you do this, when you swing around, okay, if all of a sudden, every time that basket comes out in front of you, you'll feel your lower body push back. Because if it goes the same direction. The system is on the real march. That's going to be nice. Well, no, but you'll, you'll be sad. You'll be surprised. The better you get that club head right now, here weighs 12 ounces. Very light. When it gets right here, this seven iron weighs about 20 or 30 pounds of force. It's pretty heavy force that's moving things. So this. All right, let me jump ahead here. Ow. See how he, when he hits it, just like Kerry Middlecoff and Ben Hogan, he doesn't stand up when the club is coming down at impact. He doesn't stand up when the club is coming down at impact. His knees bend even more and his butt sort of sticks out. It happens quickly. Setting forces, which is the club coming down here, and you're pushing away, and that makes the club accelerate. It's like snapping a towel. See that it drives it down, it drives the club head down to the ground, and but his body is moving slightly backwards to compensate for that, just like he was doing with the basket. And let's see. See, Here you go. Here is a still shot. Now let's see. Hogan's not going to stand up. Look at how look at how bent his knees are compared to the players today. Here we can see a tremendous angle as well. This angle here is an important angle to think about. I like how we see the back of the left hand here. All right, forget forget about what this guy is saying. Just look at his position. He doesn't he doesn't stand up at all. His knees are still bent, and he talks about. <clears throat> the knee, you know, driving forward toward the ball. Yeah, it's driving forward toward the ball. Because his, because his left leg, if one's coming forward, the other one's going backwards.
let's see what this has got to show us. Here we go, slow motion. So there we go, we'll show it again. This knee, this knee, whatever you call it, flex and extends. This extends backwards and this flexes. But then it, on the downswing, it changes. This one goes back and this one comes forward. It's like a scissor action. Right? This one comes forward and bends. This one gets straighter. But not completely straight. You can see he's got a his pant leg looks like it's straight, but it's not it's not entirely straight. These are baggy pants. So he's got he's got some some flexion going on here, but not as much as he has here. It's it's straighter, but this is the flex here on the backswing. Then he gets to the top and he decides, okay, drives this the right knee down. And look, his butt's sticking back. He doesn't start standing up. See? Bent bent in, and the, the left leg is straighter. He's looking at the ball. He strikes it, but it doesn't stand up until, you know, the momentum of the of his arms and the club end. And all that weight swings around his body. So he's all braced back on the outside of his, his right foot. And that's that. Let's see what this is all about. Super slow now. Interesting. He does, he's driving that knee toward the ball. It's interesting stuff. But let's get back to this. The snap of the towel happens, not because you're holding the angle. So when that basket gets right there, right there, you feel how you see how her see how her this knee as this basket comes around, this knee drives forward. See? That club, this club to, that's to keep her you know, it's to control the offsetting, it's the offsetting force. Is to brace her body to keep her body more, you know, as upright and in control of the basket as possible. Is that basket? Which is, you know, is that what Hogan was doing? I'm sure. So push away. There you go. So your body's figuring out. Okay, if my goal is to make this circle work like this and not get in its way, it's the same as that that basket coming around you. So you have. All right. So here's. Uh, I got to end this video, but. It's recording, but this is the video right here, part two. Sorry, what's her name? So just.